Yeah, it was exciting. Um, she also has a really cool arc throughout the series. You sort of meet her and she is this upper class um, sort of sheltered girl in this bubble who doesn't really know anything different than her life and her family. Um, but she's in this relationship with Chip who has grown up completely opposite of her, but mentally they're on such a similar wavelength. Um, and you see her sort of um, interact with people who are different than her and haven't had the same, you know, growing up as her. And she sort of has to figure out where she's going to fit in the world and, mm. um, yeah, where her place is. I mean, I, I haven't known you very long, but yeah. you seem to be very sweet. Uh, <laughs> she's not. She's Sarah's, a firecracker for Sarah's sure. Sarah's not sweet. Yeah. Um, so, I my mean, da- sorry, my dad watched the show and he's like, I don't like you. And I'm like, <laughs> Landry. I mean, I'm like, I'm Landry. I'm fine. Um, yeah. Okay, so, like... Do you think that Sarah could be a bad influence on you? Uh, did you? Um, no. And like I said, like you, I think you watch the rest of the se- series and you see some humility and heart. But what I love is zero of these characters are perfect. Mm. You see a lot of flaws in every single one of them. They're all very layered and multidimensional. And we all had two weeks of rehearsal to literally like sit down and figure out all of their psychology and where they sit on different things. And we wanted to make sure none of them are like... I mean, they they all can be role models, but the reason they're role models is because they're all flawed and they're all really young and trying to figure themselves out. Yeah. So I hope you see a little bit of heart throughout it. That yeah. was my goal. 